Got this off of Amazon. Um, my raised beds are have a lot of weeds in them this year. Um, and really it's my own fault because um, something they don't tell you when you build raised beds is pretty much every year that you have them you have to top them off with soil. So when you have that huge expense of building the raised bed up front and you're putting all that um, compost matter in there that compost breaks down and basically it vanishes over time and uh, I have found that you know a raised bed that's 12 inches deep after two years might only be four inches deep so if you think of all that cost of the money to get those filled up with soil when you first built them you will find that over time it breaks down it goes away the other thing is too is that I suspected there's a possibility that my raised beds being on a hillside that there's a possibility the wind could be blowing some of that soil away because I never used cover crops so for the first time in five years this past fall I put cover crop seed down which sprouted and uh, of course spring came and I went to go use a shovel to uh, turn the soil over to basically you know mix the cover crop into the soil and basically the root system was much thicker than I thought it was going to be and since time is money and I don't have much time but I got some money <laughs> I went ahead and got this small cultivator because it would be easier to lift into the bed versus my gas tiller that you know the tines are almost as wide as the bed is so I was just thinking something smaller that would be lighter and easier to manage would be the way to go so that brings us to now um, I originally was going to get a battery operated one a 40 volt or I, I believe it's either 40 or 80 volt battery operated one but the ship time on that was like three or four weeks because Amazon is doing the delayed shipping with coronavirus and all that so I basically went back through and started looking at them through reviews and everything and heard a lot of good things about this Sun Joe um, it is not the most powerful one and let me tell you why for me to get to my garden from an electrical outlet is going to take about a hundred foot of extension cord now my circuits that circuit happens to be a 15 amp circuit not 20 amp and that means that I couldn't go with like a I mean I could have run a 13 or 14 amp electric tiller on that circuit the problem becomes I would then need a 12 gauge 100 foot extension cord that's about 80 bucks whereas if I just went with an 8 amp one I can now use my extension cord I've already got um, for that length of time this only being 8 amps it was going to work so I didn't have to buy an extension cord the other thing was going down through the list I basically chose the first one that had uh, a relatively short shipping time this one was actually not supposed to be here till tomorrow so it was technically four days shipping instead of two but all the other ones I looked at that were battery operated was going to be like April 21st and today's April 6th and I really needed it now so I just went with one that I could get quick one that was rated to use the extension cord I already had and one that had some decent reviews on Amazon and also I did a YouTube search and there was really only one or two videos on this one hence why I'm doing the video also so uh, this is a smaller one it's 8 amp 12 inches uh, made by Sun Joe it's a tiller and cultivator has an adjust adjustable depth and uh, we're going to put it together so I broke the uh, tape seal but it never actually opened it up actually part of the tape is still on there all right let's try this again anyways looks like we got some instructions and some screws
I can pretty much already tell how this goes together. I haven't even looked at it yet. Wow, I'm kind of impressed how easy this was. Do a demo on this in a few minutes. What did that take? A whole five minutes to put it together? Okay, folks, you gotta remember that I actually live on a working homestead and my animals are going to go crazy because they see me outside. So this actually has wheels. I could have drugged this. See the wheels? But I didn't because I wanted you to see how light it was. And it drags easy too. So here's what I'm dealing with. I put down this uh, Not all the beds are in bad shape, but I've already started to turn some of these by hand with a shovel. Matter of fact, I got that bed up there done, that bed over there done. This bed I got about halfway done, and I said, this is taking way too long. You can't tell how thick the roots are, but look at this. That, that right there will tell you. You know, this is a... This is a four you know, hand thickness clump of soil that I turned over with the spade and the roots are thick. So once I started to realize how thick the roots were, I decided it was probably gonna be best if I used a machine. And I thought that I'd get my tiller out here and do it, but that is really gonna take a lot of time. So I know that I've just recently turned this bed with a shovel, but I wanted to try this bed first. The way that this works is, if you just pull the handle, no power. But if you push this button in and pull the handle, now you got power. I can already tell that this soil is so loose, I'm gonna have to drag this machine. I don't have anything planted in this bed yet. So I'm going to have to drag the machine because it's not going to pull forward on its own. And I also know that there is a, um, there is a way to adjust the height of the wheels. Ah, so the wheels, you basically just pull down, they're spring-loaded, and you're going to pull and just move to where you want it at. Now that's probably going to be too deep, but let's try it. Well, and that's how you make a YouTube video. I'm going to have to keep that in mind when I do these other ones, these other beds, because I just don't want to have to go in and like mess everything up. But even though I just ruined that, I'm still pretty impressed with this. It's got a lot more power than I thought it would have. And it's doing a really good job.
yeah. So now I basically would take a rake and just level the soil out. I probably could have got closer to that edge over there. But you notice when I was close to the edge, I was tossing a lot of dirt out. Um, I probably could have got closer to this edge also. But uh, yeah, that seems like it's going to work really, really well. I'm impressed. So I don't know about, you know, I know some of the prices of things are jacked up because of coronavirus. But um, I believe with shipping and everything, this was a hundred, a little over a hundred dollars. I'll have to get that information together. And uh, I'll also get the weight, the actual weight, because I think it's like 18 pounds or 12 pounds or something like that. It doesn't feel very heavy, but I'll get some more information and put it up in the video specs wise. So I know I'm probably not going to be able to do this one-handed, but anyways, this is the way your cord lock works. Your extension cord goes through the bottom of this, and it comes up and loops over that. And there's probably no way I can get this to come out. I'm going to try it. Try to shut. Oh, it didn't actually come out. So basically, it was just shove it up. See how that goes? And through the bottom with a loop, up over the little hook thing there. Now, you're probably wondering, how well does it hold? Well, it holds actually pretty damn well. So, that's the way that works. So, this thing, I'll show you here. See that? 1752. 552. Now, I got off work at 5. I put this together. So, let's say that took 5, 10 minutes to put it together. Come outside. Run the extension cord from the house over there over to the garden. And I did all of these beds. So there's two, four, six, eight beds here. Plus I raked them <laughs> and smoothed them out somewhat. Some of these beds need some more soil put in, but you can tell that I smoothed them out some. Some of them, the ones that have a lot of still green stuff in it, they're kind of hard to smooth out. But in a couple of days, they'll look just like this one. This one I smoothed out after I already tilled it. I smoothed this one out after I tilled it. You can actually still see the rake marks. They've all been had the rake run across them, but the ones that have a lot of green vegetation will need done again. So, uh, and I even put the rake up, come to think of it. You know, the building's up there. But, uh, so yeah, 53 minutes I did eight beds. And really, I looked. It was uh, 5.39 when I got done tilling them. So... Take off 10 minutes, it took me tw uh, 29 minutes from the time that I actually plugged it in, got started, till the time I was done tilling eight beds. 29 minutes, and then I've spent the last 20 minutes or so with the garden rake. And actually, I unplugged it. I did the ending video where I'm holding on to it to undo the uh, thing. So, you know, it's pretty impressive. Um, the tines don't turn very fast. But it is amazingly powerful. Like it's a high torque engine. So you're not going to stop those tines. Um, the other thing is too. If you hit something and it bounces. If you even let off this a little bit. The safety switch kicks in. Like at first I was kind of annoyed by it. But then I kind of saw why. Because a couple times I'd hit the end of the bed. And it would bounce way up. Of course my hand would let go of it. And the engine would shut off immediately. So the motor. So that safety switch feature is pretty nice. Um, I, I'm going to actually give this item. This will only be the second item in all of my nearly 200 videos. Hello, frog. So this will be uh, the only second item in 200 videos that gets my best money I ever spent award. Um, totally happy with it in the 30 minutes that I've used it and I'm sure that the way that it's built it's going to give me a lot of years of usage. Um, I did happen to notice on the box I didn't pay attention when I ordered it but it has a two years manufacturer warranty so that says a lot right there because generally cheap electrical stuff you know as well as I do 90 days maybe a year you know stuff that's built better quality is usually longer than a year warranty. 
and you got to think of how this is being used to this thing is going to get beat up in two years time so i think that uh it's a great product and again gets my best money i ever spent award only two items out of all of my youtube channel that's gotten that award the other one was the uh, chipper shredder from harbor freight i'll go ahead and link to that video too since i mentioned it but uh that's the only two things that comes with my stamp of approval.